Some of the best golf pros in the country will be right here in Louisville for the PGA. Officials with Valhalla say it's one of the biggest tournaments they have hosted. Well, in a new twist, this is going to be the fourth PGA Championship at Valhalla in Louisville, but the other three were held in August, not May. WHS 11's Connor Steffen and senior photojournalist Alyssa Newton have the story on how the volunteers there are going to be handling any potential hazard. Across the calm greens and fairways of Valhalla Golf Club, Everything's dictated by weather. There's a sense of controlled chaos as some 3,100 volunteers work to shore up a storied venue with their fingers crossed. With the caliber course like we have here, expectations are high. Sometimes, you know, weather and cross your fingers. Oh my God, this tournament is this right here. Valhalla's head mechanic Jason Newman has been keeping an eagle eye on the week's forecast and for good reason. There's a flood watch in effect through Thursday morning. So, you know, instead of uh, Going out there to mow whatever, we have to put back the bunkers or uh, pick up uh, some debris from a tree that fell down. In the words of PGA Championship Director Ryan Ogle, hope for the best, plan for the worst. And we're, we're monitoring it, making sure safety is first and, and foremost. Um, but we're optimistic it's going to be a fantastic week and we'll do whatever is necessary. The last time that this course hosted a PGA Championship was 10 years ago. And unfortunately, it featured some torrential downpours. Six years earlier, it was the Riders' Cup in 2008 and a tropical cyclone storm thanks to Hurricane Ike. There's so many memories. I, I tell you what, the weather. Knocked down a TV tire in 12 green. Like I said, cross your fingers for this freaking tournament. I just, I do not, I, I want it to be clear, sunny. We have an entire staff crew. We've got um, emergency services. We've got PGA staff. We've got Valhalla staff. Uh, ready to service anything that happens. Ogle says the course's past weather hazards will serve them well this time around when it comes to storm preps. Yeah, this is the 106th playing of the PGA Championship. There's nothing we haven't faced. The tedious work continues to boost a city that'll soon find itself at the center of an international sports spectacle. In Louisville, Connor Steff and WHAS 11 on your side. Officials with Louisville Tourism say some 200,000 people will travel to the golf club for the entire run of the PGA Championship. The economic impact of the event alone could net Louisville around $80 million. And today we got our first look at the PGA shops down at Valhalla. The shop is the largest of all the 285 structures built for the championship. It sits at a massive 50,000 square feet with 1,200 different items available for purchase from nearly 50 different brands. We have over 700 volunteers that will man um, 50 cash registers for making that process as efficient as possible. So it's an army. Um, it's our largest volunteer committee, um, and we make sure it's as efficient as possible with those lines. Well, if you're interested, the shop opens to the general public starting this Friday at 9 a.m. And get this, you don't need a PGA ch Championship ticket to get in there and shop. That's right, they're giving you an early look to load up. By the way, if you're looking to improve your golf game, uh, golf's all the rage right now with the championship coming to town. Here's a few different ranges for you in Kentucky and a different strokes golf center on River Roads, an affordable spot to start with golfers able to buy different golf bucket sizes. There's also an indoor range and practice facility in Clarksville, Indiana, that's T24. They offer lessons and memberships. And if you're looking for just some fun hitting the golf balls, Top Golf at Oxmoor Center is a great place to swing as an amateur or a pro. All of those places probably busy this weekend, Doug, with people <laughs> getting in the spirit. I know it. Hopefully we're going to have a great weather forecast. And Fingers we're